probably stay clear of you. I know, it is kind of funny. Um, I've got a little white car. It, it's an Acura Integra. So, you know, it's not considered to be that type of vehicle, but it's still a white car. It's got antennas sprouting on it. Um, sometimes it's real obvious if I have the hamstick on it. And, uh, um, you know, um, there you go. <laughs> um, you know, um, I, I think it's pretty funny. Um, and I, I wish I had the uh, light bar like I do at work. Um, um, it's got, like, sequential signals on it and stuff, and I don't use it all the time, but I use it as a giant size turn signal when I want to get on the freeway. <laughs> I wish I had one of those on my car. W0TKX. Yeah, I knew this guy years ago back in New York, and um, he was a friend of my mom's, and he had this kind of like a little private ambulance business, and I worked for him for a couple of months one summer when I was going to college, and uh, he was a real character, this guy, and he had this old Cadillac, and he had a light bar on it, and he had a siren, and I don't know, I guess it was legal. I mean, he must have been. And um, we, you know, every once in a while, you know, we'd be in traffic or something, and the guy was, he was like the British, you know, like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, he had to have his tea. And um, there was a local hospital. As a matter of fact, it was a hospital my dad was actually uh, born in, and my daughter was born in. And it was funny because... Um, you know, we'd be in heavy traffic or something. It was getting close to 2 o'clock, and he didn't like the traffic. He'd flip that siren and that light bar on, and everybody would clear off the road, and then he'd pull up to the hospital, and, you know, he'd park up in the front where the emergency vehicles were, and then we'd go, and we'd go get our tea or our coffee. Just the, uh, the the traveler, or do you have a, uh, a uh, speaker in there as well? Um, I do have a speaker that I've used out there. Um, that car is actually relatively noisy. Um, you know, it's got a really stiff frame, and um, you know, not a lot of extra goodies to it. So you know, it drives really nice, but it's a little noisier than some vehicles. So the speaker that I had wasn't real loud, so I prefer using the Traveler. Um, and the other thing that's, that's just really obnoxious and geeky is I've got the Traveler in one ear and the, and the Bluetooth in the other in case I get a phone call. So <laughs> that's pretty bad. But, um, yeah, I, I, I want to get a speaker because uh, um, sometimes I've got the hand microphone in there. When, I, when, I, when I'm sitting... Um, like, sometimes I'll take a break at work and I'll throw the ham stick on there and uh, um, might screw around for a few minutes. And when I'm sitting still, I'd rather not use the traveler. I'd rather have the speaker going. And I do have a portable um, uh, CW paddle um, that I've got with me. I haven't used it from the car yet, but uh, I've got to figure out where I'm going to stick it on the center console. But it's just a little tiny thing. And... Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do that when I'm moving, but uh, that'd be a fun thing to do on a, on a break from work. Uh, you know, I get there at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, so um, I have the opportunity to play with gray line if I just get jiggy with it. W0TKX. KK0JD. Yeah, that's interesting. Well... Yeah, I put that 7,000 in there about a week ago, and I moved it. Well, well, I take that back. I didn't move it. I mean, I had that 208H in there up front, and it was okay. I don't know. And then I decided to put the 7,000 in there. Well, the 7,000 is under the seat behind the driver. And, of course, you know, it's, it's a nice Cherokee. It's 10 years old. It's got leather seats and everything. I mean, but, I mean, it's got three inches of cushion over the speaker. So, you know, on full volume, you can barely hear somebody in the back. I mean, of course, one stupid way of doing it is to flip the seat up, which actually makes it fairly intelligent. But I'm thinking about putting, in, you know, a speaker in there, and I'm kind of, I, I, 
I got mixed emotions about it. I mean, I kind of don't want to put it up front because that's heck for that's where the old radio was. And it's pretty obvious, so I'm thinking about seeing if I can get maybe a small speaker. The guys over at HRO tried to talk me into this little uh, MFJ speaker. It's El Cheapo. It's like $13, and it's small. It's about two inches square. I don't know. I mean, EM, some guys love it. Some guys say it sounds like a bunch of tin. So I don't know. You got any thoughts on good speakers? Now, the, now the, the one that Dennis and I talked about a couple of weeks ago was outrageously expensive. I checked it out. It's the Clear Audio speaker. It's $210 from West Mountain. Um, anyway, you got any thoughts? The, the other one that's supposed to be very good is there's a Kenwood, and it's not expensive. It's the Kenwood industrial version that has uh, industrial certification on it. I think it's 35 bucks, and it looks pretty nice. And TPDQ Mobile, good morning. 